how do you calculate the efficiency of a solar cell? How do you do that? Well, we're going to talk about how to do that in this video through this problem. So we have a 175 watt solar cell, and we're given the dimensions of the solar cell. It has a length of 5 feet and a width of 2 feet. What is the efficiency of this solar cell? And we're given the intensity of the sunlight that the solar cell is exposed to, and that is going to be the average solar intensity of 1360 watts per square meter. So for those of you who want to try it, feel free to pause the video and work this problem out. So let's talk about intensity. Intensity is equal to power divided by area. Power is measured in watts. And area is typically measured in square meters. It could be square feet, square yards, but square meters is the standard unit of area. Now, in order to calculate the efficiency, we need to use this formula. The efficiency is going to be equal to the output power of the solar cell divided by the input power from the sun times 100%. Now, we already have the output power of the solar cell. It's 175 watts. What we need is the input power of the incident sunlight. And we need to use this formula to get that. So in order to solve for power in its equation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by the area. So the input power of the sun on a solar cell is going to be equal to the intensity of sunlight times the area of which the sunlight is shining upon, and that's going to be the area of the solar cell. Now, we already have the solar intensity. It's 1360 watts per square meter. But pay attention to the unit's square meter here, because we don't have the dimensions of the solar cell in meters. We have it in feet. And so we need to convert it into square meters. So let's do that first. So the area of the solar cell, if we draw a picture, here it is. We have a length of 5 feet and a width of 2 feet. So length times width, that will give us an area of 10 square feet. Now we need to convert square feet to square meters. So let's go ahead and do that. So using this conversion factor, we know that 1 meter is equal to 3.2808 feet. So let's write that here. Now we want the unit feet to cancel, so that's why I put this on the bottom. But notice that we have square feet. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to square the conversion factor. So the unit square feet will cancel. So it's going to be 10 divided by 3.2808 squared. And you should get 0 0.92905 square meters. So now let's go ahead and calculate the input power. So it's going to be the solar intensity, which is 1360 watts per square meter, multiplied by the area of the solar cell, 0 0.92905 square meters. So we can cross out these units. So multiplying those two numbers, 1360 by 0.92905, that's 
that's going to be 1263.5 watts. So that's how much sunlight, well, that's the how much power from the sun it's shining upon the solar cell, given the specific area of the solar cell that we're dealing with. So just so you can get a visual illustration of this, here's a solar cell. And here's the sun shining on it. So we have 1263. 25 watts of power being delivered to the solar cell. But out of that, only 175 watts of power is coming out of the solar cell as electricity. So now we can calculate the efficiency of the solar cell. So it's going to be the output power divided by the input power times 100%. So the output power is 175 watts. The input power from the sun, 1263.5 watts. And we'll multiply this by 100%. So the efficiency of this solar cell is about 13.85%. Now, of course, there are other factors to consider, but that's how you can calculate the efficiency of a solar cell in a simplistic way. You simply take the output power that's being converted into electricity and divide it by the input power that's coming from the sun based on the area of that solar cell. Now, let's work on another example for the sake of practice. Because sometimes you may not have the dimensions of the solar cell in feet. A lot of times you'll be given dimensions in inches. So let's say we have this solar cell. And let's say it has a length of 61 inches and a width of 27 inches. And let's say this solar cell, it generates a power of 200 watts. And let's say we're in a region of the Earth where the solar intensity is still 1360 watts per square meter. It can vary, but typically it's usually between 1300 and 1400. So with this information, you have the power of the solar cell, its dimensions, and using the average solar intensity, what is the efficiency of this particular solar cell? Feel free to pause the video uh, if you want to try this. By the way, for those of you who want access to more video content, check out the links in the description section below. I'll be posting other similar content in that area as well. So we're going to follow the same process that we did with the previous problem. So let's calculate how much power from the sun is going into this solar cell. So the input power from the sun is going to be the solar intensity times the area of the solar cell. But before we do that, we need to calculate the area. So area is length times width. We have a length of 61 inches. We're going to multiply that by a width of 27 inches. So that's going to be 1647 square inches. Now let's convert that to square meters. First, we got to convert it to square feet. We know that there's 12 inches in a foot, and we know that there's 3.28 zero eight feet in one meter. Now, because we're dealing with inches squared, we need to square everything.
So it's going to be 1647 divided by 12 squared. 12 squared is 144. When you divide those two, you should get 11.4375. And then we're going to divide that by 3.2808 squared. So this will give us an area of 1.0626 square meters. So now let's calculate the input power from the sun. So we have an intensity of 1360 watts per square meter. We're going to multiply this by 1.0626 square meters. So the input power is going to be 1,445 watts. So once we have this value, we can now calculate the efficiency of this solar cell. So it's going to be the output power of the solar cell divided by the input power of the sun times 100%. So this is a 200 watt solar cell. The input power is 1445 times 100. So this answer is very close to the previous answer. It's 13.84%. It's very close. But nevertheless, that's the process that you could follow to calculate the efficiency of any solar cell. The one thing you need to know is the solar intensity of sunlight in your region because it can vary based on how close or how far away you are from the equator, if there's clouds in the sky. So all of that could affect the average solar intensity as shining upon a solar cell. So that number could vary.